Welcome to the Weasley Update. I am Aiden Weiss. I am stone to the bone. And I'm ready to fucking ramble, baby. Let's do this. Alright, episode 7. Recording this on March 3rd of 2020. My birthday is right around the corner, so I'm pretty pumped. Uh, March 16th, the day before St. Patty's Day. So, it's a good day to turn 21, I guess. But it's also a Monday. And I don't like drinking very much, so... I'm just gonna do some shit the uh, weekend before with some of my buddies. Gonna screen uh, screen some music that I was just mixing and mastering, which is so intimidating. That fucking process. Holy shit! I've like made myself a hole uh, where I'm in the process of making myself a like sound basics. Uh, like pamphlet almost on Google Docs so I can always consult it but holy shit there is like so much to take in I literally have a table of contents already and I think I'm only like I don't know I've, I've barely gotten out of fucking compression and like DSers and stuff it's crazy you know maybe I should have gone to audio engineering <laughs> that first quarter uh, at BC but I didn't. Who who would have thunk that would have come in hand? Oh man, it has been a pretty busy day for me. Had to feed Ka, my snake. That just took for fucking ever today. It was making me so so fucking mad. But he has been fed. I got him a nice little plant to first tank, so it's a little bit more tropical looking in there. God, I wish you, you could fucking see this thing. It is so decked out. I love that thing so fucking much. It's just sitting right behind me. Chilling after a big old meal. I feed that boy live rodents. Yep. Uh, got got caught for my fifth birthday. So, I will have him for 16 years coming up on the 16th. Pretty cool. Um, my dad doesn't really like snakes, which is pretty funny in retrospect because I remember I was over at my aunt and uncle's house, um, hanging out when, when I was a kid, like the day before, probably, and, uh, and my mom called them and they put me on the phone and they were like, would you rather have a snake or a lizard? And I just said a snake, blindly. And that's what they rolled with. And I am so glad that I did. Because holy fuck, this thing is cool. I, I, I can get why people are freaked out by them. But I'm just like amazed by snakes. Because if, if you just told someone who didn't know what a snake was. Yeah, there's something on this planet that doesn't have any arms or legs. You'd be like, that thing's fucked. It's fucked. But no. Actually, snakes are some of the most fucking successful predators on this planet. Dude, reticulated pythons can be up to like 550 pounds. That's not bullshit. Look that shit up. There is a snake on this planet that can weigh almost 600 pounds. And I love snakes, but that's fucking terrifying. I was watching, watching some Nat Geo shit or something. I, I All of that blurs in my head between National Geographic... Uh, planet Earth. Is, is there even another one? I don't know. It, it was one of those and it was following a reticulated python that did weigh about that much and it was like 25 feet long or some fucking insane shit like that and it only had to eat once a year because it would just eat this giant fucking meal. So it shows this thing eat. I don't know where the fuck this is but it shows this thing eating a giant like deer of sorts antlers and all and it like the prey is so big it has to force its esophagus out of its throat as like a fucking snorkel while it's it's muscles are just like moving this elk down its body it's fucking insane i just don't get how the antlers don't tear up its insides oh my god when, when i watch shows like that particularly Blue Planet, I was just telling someone this, particularly Blue Planet, I, I watch that and I'm like, I can't believe I live on the same fucking planet as this thing. 
I was watching Blue Planet with my parents one time, and there was like a little shark and a little squid going at it. This shark's trying to eat this squid, and again, you'd think that the squid is fucked. And it, it started like putting its tentacles into the shark's gills and got away, and then basically put its fucking uh, tentacles up like suckers in a ball around itself and just rolled around picking up debris with those suckers and was just like this little camouflaged ball and the shark came up real close was like sniffing oh my god it's unreal i am a huge oceanography fan i i took one class at bellevue college and it was so fucking awesome and even before that my sister turned me on to it because she also took a class there and it was just like it's the idea that only 8% of the ocean is explored. And that's 70-some percent of our planet. What in the fuck, dude? We are spending all of our time looking at other planets and we haven't even explored our own. Like, think about... I don't know. I don't even want to go there. Like, the Kraken. There's all sorts of shit that can be real. Shit we've never even seen or heard about. It, it blows my mind and it's terrifying we just don't have the technology to go that deep imagine what the fuck could be down there Whew, that is a horror movie waiting to happen god damn well um, I can't wait for the day that they figure that shit out I, I don't want to make it sound like space isn't cool either like space is that, that's insane to me that we're able to to just fucking blast people out of our planet. Oh my god. I can't believe there's flat earthers. Uh, I'm just gonna say this right now. <sighs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be mean. I just, I can't believe that's a thing. How young was I when I was told, Oh yeah, people used to think the earth was flat. Like third grade? Probably before that. Back when they would <laughs> teach you about what an awesome dude Columbus was. Jesus fuck, dude. I, I swear, like, the older I've gotten, they've just, like, unveiled the curtain one step each year until here I am, where I'm like, wow, he was just fucking slinging dick. That fuck. He was a mad rapist. Oh my god. Anyways, yeah, I uh, I can't believe that's a thing. I was watching this this video where people were debating. Uh, it was like scientists and flat earthers debating, and it was really really interesting, but also hilarious. I highly recommend anybody watch that. I I really don't want to be mean. It's just one of those things that sort of came out of nowhere. It's like, didn't we get over this already? I don't know. I was told maybe like a basketball player started it. Um, I thought it was something else, but at this point I honestly can't remember. All my mind has been crammed with lately is fucking school and mixing and mastering knowledge. Because that shit is just, like I was saying, overwhelming. But, uh, man, I feel like I've got to talk about the last episode. That was so much fun. If you haven't watched it, episode 6 is Power Hour. It's a video cast, the first video cast. Uh, and Power Hour is 100 shots of beer in an hour. I was trying to do it in, in less than I did. I, I had, like, fuck, like four minutes, some seconds to spare, which felt pretty good. It was going to be 102 at one point, um, just for aesthetic sake when we were lining them up. Uh, but then we had a little cameo from Emily. Thank you, Emily. That was uh, also out of nowhere. So her and Derek took a shot and it lined up. But I yacked a lot, bro. <laughs> like, there's a point, it's probably the third or fourth yak session. Not yak, because... I yacked a lot, like, each session. Uh, probably the third or fourth yak session where there's a point where I'm, I'm puking for, like, two whole seconds. And you can hear Derek. 
Uh, Derek fucking just, his laugh go from, uh, pure joy to, like, oh, 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 like, oh, fuck. Oh my god, that was, that was really fun to film just because it was, uh, it was abrupt and got over it. I said at one point, I don't know if it made its way into the video, but I said at one point, I'm grubbing so hard after this, and I fucking did. Went to Boomers, shout out to Boomers. Their fucking boomer worry deal where all their burgers were three nineteen. I got two fat burgers, some fries, and a shake. Went back to Derek's pad and we just sat in recliners and oh my god, it was it was definitely the recovery that I needed after doing a hundred shots of Miller Light in fucking fifty five minutes. But you know, all said and done was not really as hard as I thought it would be. There is definitely more shit yet to come though, so I don't wanna be biting my tongue too soon the actual filming part was awesome just because Derek is so good at the fucking like up close it's really personal he he uh we always talk about this he he has a really or he does a really good job of simulating the idea that you're there with the person it feels like you're right by them which was just perfect for that style of video. There's a point where he's framing it, and there's just like little little blades of grass and shit out of focus as I'm puking, and it is perfect. He did such a good job. I, I really couldn't. It, it was his idea. We were just fucking bullshitting that day. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it was fun, and like I said, definitely won't be the last video cast. I don't know if every video cast will necessarily be like that, where I'm just. I don't know, fucking going hard. There definitely will be more like that. Don't get it twisted. But uh, there will be other shit, for sure. For now, I'm just going to stick with the narcissistic rambling to myself. Um, but also, since the last time I recorded one of these, um, the fucking Batman suit reveal? Holy shit, dude. Let's fucking talk about this. Okay, so... Oh, what day did that happen? Let's look this up real quick. Matt Reeves. It's also sounded like the movie may or may not be called Batman Vengeance. Uh, Matt Reeves drops Batman costume test. Let's see. Okay. All right. February 14th. So on February 14th, director of The Batman, Matt Reeves dropped a fucking camera test uh, of Robert Pattinson in the Batsuit. And I've got to say, I am fucking impressed, dude. I was into it. A lot of people are freaking out. Doesn't really show much. Uh, I like the red lighting. People were comparing it to Daredevil super hard, which I totally get. Especially because they didn't show the ears on the mask and the cowl just really resembled the daredevil one so the red lighting didn't help um but that that just chest up shot like i was really into it uh you know word on the street is it's a prototype suit that definitely fits that design it, it looks very very much like the arkham games which, if you know anything about the Batman Arkham games, then you are fucking cool to me. Oh my god, those games were fun as fuck. I played, like, every one of them all the way back on the Xbox 360. Which was such an awesome console. I miss Halo. Halo was really fun. That's the only reason I would get an Xbox. Is to play Halo, but... Fuck my Microsoft. Anyways, um... People are saying this. Uh, I even caught on to it at first. I, I don't think it's the case now, though. But people were saying that the um, emblem on his chest is the gun that killed his parents. <coughs> but it doesn't really look like that at all. Like, I, like, no one said anything about it. It just sort of materialized out of nowhere. And people were like, well, it happened in the comics recently. And I think that would be cool as shit. Don't get me wrong, but um, I don't think that's the case. People are also saying it looks like a detachable batarang. Maybe that totally could be the case, um, but I just couldn't see that. This looks like a little bit 
more grounded and it's Matt Reeves so you sort of get the idea where he's where he's going with um, word on the street is he's also uh, pulling from some comics in which Alfred is a retired military vet which is uh, super interesting because he cast Andy Serkis and I can totally see, see that happening um, I also like the collar on the suit I thought that was pretty cool but more than anything the fucking music dude the music, Michael, or, uh, fuck, Michael Giacchino, I always butcher his last name, he's doing the soundtrack, he did Up, Incredibles, he also did Lost, I didn't watch that show, I feel like I should, let's just see what else he did, Michael Giacchino, looking this up on Apple Music, all right, Medal of Honor. Okay, he also did Inside Out Coco. God, the Up soundtrack is is enough for me. What a beautiful soundtrack. Didn't see Inside Out. Coco's amazing. Coco's such a good movie. And the incredible soundtrack is also just fucking killer. It sounds like a James Bond soundtrack. I am actually going over to my buddy Derek's house after this to uh, watch James Bond. Um... I'm going to get some Wendy's first just because I haven't had dinner and I've got some fucking coupons. Whoop, whoop. But I haven't seen any James Bond movies and the new one is coming out. So I feel sort of obligated to binge the, the Daniel Craig ones. Uh, so I think Quantum of Solace is the first one. I'm not sure, but I, I'm going to watch one of them tonight. I'm, I'm pretty pumped to just grub the fuck up and, and watch it. I'm going to get into it, and then I'll see the new one in theaters. Man, dude, fucking Quiet Place comes out this month. I am so pumped for Quiet Place 2. Man, I really liked the fucking first one. I'm, and I also really like Killian Murphy, so... It's cool that he's going to fucking be in this shit. Man, I wonder where they're taking that. Is this going to be the end, or are they setting up another sequel? That would maybe be shitty, in my opinion. Anyways, Michael Giacchino. Man, he's done some Medal of Honor. Black, I don't, I don't know what that is. Oh, he did Jojo Rabbit. I didn't see that, but I really fucking want to see that movie. Um, Spider-Man Far From Home. That's that's a good movie. I'm a big fan of that movie. Uh, Bad Times at the El Royale. I watched that up here in the fall. That was also really interesting. Who fucking directed it? Who directed... Fuck. Who directed Bad Times at the Owl Royale? Oh, Drew Goddard. I think he did, like... Drew Goddard. I think he did, like, Tron or something. Come on. I, th I think this guy did a ton of shit that I like. See more on IMDb. IMDb is so awesome. Internet movie. Oh, what is it? Is it just Internet Movie Database? Drew Goddard. Okay, he did The Martian. Didn't see that. Wrote Cabin in the Woods. Okay, interesting. Oh, he did Daredevil. That's what it was. Huh, World War Z. That was an alright movie. Cloverfield. That's a fucking awesome movie. Um, was not into Cloverfield Paradox. Super, super weird. Um, 12 Cloverfield Lane or whatever the fuck it was. That was alright. It didn't really feel like it belonged in that world. And so the end was just super abrupt. <coughs> uh, spoiler alert if you haven't seen that. There's just weird sophisticated alien ships. I was like, this is bullshit. What I liked about the original is that it, it was sort it was just like a mindless monster movie. You know, this big just fucking thing was taking out New York. What in that they did that so well. With the spider things in the tunnel. Oh, oh. I really like that movie. Um But I, I thought that for what it was, twelve Cloverfield Lane was good. Is that even what it was called? It might be ten Cloverfield. Let me ver verify this Cloverfield Lane. Oh my god, it is 10 Cloverfield Lane. That's hilarious. Man, he also did War of the Planet of the Apes. Michael J. Sheena did the soundtrack. Did not see that. Book of Henry, don't even know what that is. 
Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Awesome soundtrack. I have that on my phone. Also a really good movie. People were ready to shit on it, but... You know, I, I think that movie was fucking awesome, and I think most people received it pretty well. He did Doctor Strange. That movie was... Eh, Alright. Zootopia. Man, he's done a ton of shit. John Carter. Really underrated movie. With Taylor Kitsch. Man, he has done quite a bit. Mission Impossible. I haven't seen any Mission Impossible movies. But you know what honestly has a banging soundtrack? Mario. As in New Super Mario Brothers. Ooh. That soundtrack is fucking awesome. I don't know how I ended up there. But they, uh, the, pretty much the whole Batman suit leaked on fucking... I mean, like, it's a stunt suit. Which you gotta understand, stunt suits are made out of uh, way different materials. You know, they're gonna be beat up and shit. But, uh, yeah, there's some pictures that pretty clearly, like in the day, display the bat suit on a motorcycle, just minus the cape. And I'm into it. It looks pretty dope, especially with that prototype shit I was saying earlier. The only thing I will say, uh, excuse me, holy shit, is the gauntlets are sort of whack. Like, what the fuck is going on with the gauntlets, dude? They look like, someone said they're some, like, foreign uh, darts, but it just, it looks really off to me. And I guess, you know, again, rumors say he'll get a new suit, and I'm sure he fucking will, but that's, that's the only part of the suit that looked weird. They incorporated some yellow, which is definitely awesome. I really was hoping they'd go for a fucking retro logo with, like, you know, like the Batman 89 logo, how it was a bat on a circular yellow print? That's what I wanted. But, you know, I don't always get what I want. If I did, that movie would be a horror. A fucking horror film. And I would be directing all the fucking superhero movies, because I'm selfish. And only my creative ambition matters. Anyways, oh god, dude. I miss Breaking Bad. I just got on Breaking Bad's dick, too. Like, I really... Okay, so I started it at one point. Got until... I think season two somewhere. Spoiler. Earmuffs for a second. I got to the point where... Walt's about to go make a big deal and he has to miss out on uh, the baby's birth. I can't remember what the baby's name is. Holly's birth. Um, Alright. You can come back if you're fucking not your muffin. Anyways. And then I sort of fell off and then when I heard El Camino was coming out I felt like I had to watch all of it in anticipation and here I am and it was the best show ever. If Game of Thrones last season didn't fuck up, fucking Breaking Bad would take the cake for the best show. Or fucking Game of Thrones would have taken the cake for the best show ever, but... Golly, dude. What an amazing piece of work. One of the things I love about it is there's no fat. I was talking to Derek about this. No fat on that fucking show. Everything you see virtually will pay off at some point. And if it doesn't pay off story-wise, it's just a beautiful shot. Beautifully composed shot, or a really intellectually composed shot. They just do... Oh, my God. They, they were really, really brilliant with that. And in my opinion, El Camino held up. My God, was it good. I was so, so into both of those. And now it's just done. And it's been done for most people for a long time, so they've gotten over it. But not me. I'm just now fucking getting hit with my second wave of... What, what do you call it? Oh god, I should not make addictions. Or fucking make comparisons to addiction anyway, so... God, but that show was just amazing. <coughs> um... Uh, of course, Brian Cranston was fucking great in it. I, I don't see him doing a lot, but he was just so amazing in that. Aaron Paul was, of course, awesome. 
I cannot recall the guy's name who played Gus. He's also in The Mandalorian. But fuck, dude. He's such a good villain. He's so intimidating in that show. And spiteful and just calm. and It's, it's spooky when he's on screen a lot of the time. I, I, I guess The Sopranos, people say, is the best show ever, so... And I, I haven't watched that, so I, I guess I can't totally say. I gotta get to that. God damn, I sort of got a headache. Probably because I didn't eat any fucking dinner. And I'm not gonna feel any better once I go get fucking Wendy's. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Ice melting in the bunk, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's weed for you, kids. Paranoia. Total fucking paranoia. I'm usually pretty good about that, but... You know, living by yourself, it can be spooky sometimes. Catch me off guard. Oh. I cannot believe spring break is coming up. Actually, uh, finals week starts on my birthday. That Monday I was talking about, but I don't have finals. So... Um, I have an extra week of spring break and it starts on my birthday, which I am gnarly pumped about. That is going to, uh, I'm just going to be working, but that's going to be awesome because I'll get to see the fam. I think I'm just going to go home for a lot of it. Um, I'll definitely be up here though, hanging out with Ka, working on tunes. I'm going to have to fucking catch up on some work. I, I honestly might just use that first week to stay up here and record a bunch of shit in my sound booth. That sounds like the plan. I'll have to flesh it out when I'm not stoned and also recording my thoughts on a microphone. God, there's just so much shit I, I feel like I have to do. It's all really not that bad either. Like, I've got a paper and a, a video for my finals and one is going to be on a theater, on the North Bend Theater, which I am super pumped to write. It's going to be awesome. And this video project is also pretty fun to edit. Like, I, I couldn't ask for a better way out of this corner. Oh, jeez. I am fucking going to get an iPad Pro. I am so pumped. I've got it all figured out. Going to get the pencil and shit. I'm doing it for drawing. Oh, Oh my god. I already know all the, all the drawing programs I'm going to get. I'm doing the 11 inch because, uh, you know, 256 gigs, I think it is. That's pretty reasonable. Um, I do the 12.9, but the 256 is just ridiculously overpriced. And uh, 64 is the only step below that. And that's, I just can't do it. You know, 64 gigs, that's, that's no fucking... No bueno. I'm going to be downloading like full Photoshop and other Adobe products. So I, I, I can't fucking do 64 gigs. That is ridiculous. I, I'd like to do the terabyte because it also has uh, 6 gigs of RAM. But Jesus, I think that's like 1400 bucks. Holy fuck, dude. I'm also going to have to do Apple Care. Because you know how that shit goes, but I've got my case picked out. I am uh, I'm really pumped. I, I think the Adobe product I'm going to download is called like Frisco or something. But it is fucking crazy. Like, oh man. First of all, with the Apple Pencil, when you're, if you hold it sideways, it draws. If you were shading in real life, it simulates that effect. But this, uh, this program also does really cool shit. Like, if you're on paint mode and if you just sit there and hold, you know, your your stylus or whatever you got down on the pad, you'll like watch the, the paint pool up underneath as if it was real. So, you know, maybe I'll become a good virtual painter. That'd be kind of cool. It's funny because both my sister and one of my little brothers are excellent painters and I just can't fucking do it, dude. I'm a good sketch artist, but there's a certain control you have when you're drawing with a pencil or pen or something of that sort, because there's a stiffness in the lead, you know? It, it comes to a fine point, and it stays that way. But with a fucking paintbrush, it's just sloppily, 
dancing all over road. That's that's why it's so cool to me, and how they manage to stay in the lines and make. I mean, I I've got paintings from each on my wall, cause they're just fucking crazy. Some of the shit I have seen these people do, really really awesome. And just think about like professional painters too. Any painting you see, wow, that's it blows my mind, especially after watching some Bob Ross shit. That dude performed magic tricks in front of a camera. Oh my god. He'd be... He'd have, like, just a bunch of weird strokes and shit on an empty canvas. And I'd be watching it, squinting my eyes, trying to make a shape out of it, all confused. And he'd be like, and just a little brush like this. Whoosh, and then all of a sudden it's a fucking waterfall. Like a real-looking waterfall. It's like, what in the fuck? Yeah, magic. Magic to me. And like I said, I think I'm a pretty good fucking sketch artist. You know, I can only really draw faces, though, which I think is pretty uncommon. Uh, I'm, I'm working on it, though. I'm trying. It's, it's pretty hard, but, you know, fucking just drawing full bodies, trying to keep that shit proportionate. Ooh. All right, y'all. Oh, man. Nine o'clock. It's time to go get some late fucking dinner. It has been real. Next time, who knows what it'll be. Maybe it'll be another video cast. I, I have no fucking idea, but I can't wait to do it. I'll see you then. Peace out, bitches.